Welcome to Create Transaction Types for a Specific Business Type. To begin with, we'll go to Admin, scroll down to Transaction Types, and then in the drop-down, we'll select Health Insurance. And as you see, we have no transaction types built. So, and the transaction types are going to be your payments, your fees, and so you need to determine what's important, what do I want to track? So I can run a report and see how much did I collect for this specific transaction type. So with health insurance, it's brand new to us. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be tracking, but I'm just going to be pretty generic with this one. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to just call it fee. And my category is going to be a fee category. Ordinal will make it the first one. I'm just going to list it as a five, just in case I need to put anything above that. The date column, that would be if I want if I want to check that, that means my date field will just will automatically open. I'm going to leave that shut. Mark is done. I'm going to automatically have this fee transaction type marked as done uh, so I don't have to manually do it uh, while I'm recording the transaction type. My fee field, I'd like to have that open so I can log a fee amount in there, so I definitely want that. Default fee, I don't know what my fee is going to be, so I'm going to leave that blank. My payment field. Uh, I don't want that to be open because I don't want to log a payment under my fee. And default discount, that doesn't apply. Payment method, that doesn't apply. Uh, all the way down to note required. I don't need to worry about that. Um, well, actually, maybe because my it is a generic, the fee, maybe I'll say note required because I want to know what I'm charging for. So if I select note required, I can always change it. Business types. I'm going to select health insurance, transaction type grouping. This is only applying if you're using uh, Adam to track your bookkeeping, like for to produce a balance sheet or a profit and loss statement for yourself. So this shouldn't apply at all. Recursive days, we don't have to worry about that. We don't want the uh, transaction type to reoccur after so many days. So I'm going to save this. Next thing, I'm going to go ahead and log in uh, payment. And I'm going to just select, I'd like when I select payment check, that my payment type automatically displays. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute here. Category, again, it's good. now it's going to be payment. Um, ordinal, let's say this number 10. Date, I don't need to worry, I don't need that. Mark is done, yes. My fee, I don't want my fee column to open up. Default fee, my payment, I want my payment column to open up when I log a payment, so I want that checked. Default discount payment method. I'd like that to be check. When I when I select this transaction type, I want my payment method automatically to be check. So I don't have to do it. And I'll 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 just I'll go over it in a in second with an example and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Adjustment type, don't have to worry about that. This is not an adjustment, note required, I don't want that. And my health insurance, and again, we don't need to worry about these last two. So I'm gonna save it. I'll do one more as payment credit. And I'll do this as 15. Again, mark is done. And payment, yes, check. And this is going to be credit card. And business type, health insurance. Now, under the payment method, if you see something that doesn't, dis if you'd like something to display and you don't see it here, what you'd have to do is you'd have to go under admin, under payment methods, and then create a payment method so it'll display in here. We're not going to cover that because I think I have pretty much all payment methods. Unless, but if you'd like to see what, if you want to have track your, instead of just saying credit cards, if you wanted to track MasterCard or Visa or Amex, then you'd have to go down under admin and payment methods and create those to drop, to, to display in the drop down. And then, uh, let's see, fee, payment method, check. I believe that's everything I would need. So now when I go to my home page, And actually, I'm jumping ahead a little bit. I don't want to do it yet because I don't want to show you how to create a client, a health insurance client until later in the steps. But when I do that, then I'll cover how to record a transaction type, and then you can see how it works. But basically, that's what you need to do. Those are the basics. I have my fee and my payment. If you want to have track more, then you just add more transaction types. And that's all I have for that. Thank you.